Hey, sixth grade. I just wanted to do a quick review for your quiz that's coming up and uh, to make sure that you understand everything, know what to expect. So the very first thing is um, there will be a few formulas that you need to remember. Area of a circle. Make sure that if they give you the diameter that you take that diameter and divide it by two and that will become your radius and then you plug your radius in and uh, then you'll square your radius and then finish your multiplication problems times pi. Then you have parameter of a square, uh, P equals four times S. You have area of a triangle. If they give you a number that you can take half of, like if your base or your height is an even number, it would be easier to take half of one of those numbers first and then uh, plug it in, uh, whatever that half would be, then plug that other number in and you'll multiply that. So um, if they, one of these are even numbers, do that first. If they're not, you'll have to multiply these first, then take half of that. Then you also have circumference of a circle, uh, two times pi times r. So make sure if they give you diameter, uh, always remember to take and find the radius first because sometimes they will try to trick you. Uh, a review of the angles that we have been working on. This is a right angle. This is obtuse because it's larger than 90 degrees. And then this is acute because it's smaller than 90 degrees. Okay, the other two things that we need to work on are multiplications with uh, mixed numbers and division with mixed numbers and fractions. Okay, always remember, multiply the bottom, add the top, okay, if you have a mixed number. So we'll say two times seven is 14, and then um, 14 plus two. So multiply the bottom, two times seven plus two, which is 16 over seven. Then you have five times eight is 40 plus seven, so that's 47 divided by eight. Okay, now before we start any multiplication whatsoever, we need to see can we cancel out within. So uh, you cannot say seven into 47, that doesn't work. But you can say 16 and eight. So eight will go into eight one times, one times, one, uh, eight will go into 16 two times. Then you'll multiply 47 times two, which will end up being 94, divided by or over uh, seven times one. And when you finish with that division problem, then you should end up with uh, 13 and three sevenths because you always keep your same denominator, okay? Um, so then we have a division problem with mixed numbers. So we have uh, multiply the bottom, add the top, which is four times two is eight plus one. So you have nine over two. You're going to change that second fraction. You're gonna flip it and make it into a multiplication problem. So it'll be four over three. So then you have, can you cancel out within? Always do that first. So you have, can two go into four? Yes, two will go into two one time, two will go into four two times. Same thing here. Can nine and three cancel out? Yes, three will go into three one time, three will go into nine three times. Then you just multiply across. Three times two is six over one, and so your answer should be six. Your final answer, always reduce if it's an improper fraction. So I hope this was a good review, and I hope you do well on your quiz, and y'all have a happy Easter. Bye.